Scott, dream start. Goal within the first two minutes. <laughs> Did you think that the, the writing was on the wall then? Oh, I can't believe it. Some people said it was too early in that, you know, but as I say, I mean, I thought it was a bit lucky. I mean, I cut inside and wondered what to do, you know, and just cut it. I couldn't believe it went over the creeper, you know. As I say, it was a dream start, you know, but it's brilliant. I couldn't believe it. Scoring at Wembley. <laughs> The only disappointment, as well, really, is conceding the goal two minutes into the second half. Yeah, and it was a scrappy goal as well. You know, I thought uh, Delwyn Humphrey's done brilliant to keep it in because the cross came in was too far again. I think Colin Field got a touch. And it looked like it was going out for a corner. I think all of us got from West out for a corner and he whipped it back in. They got a cross shot in and the bloke got the slightest of touch and just like slipped in for a far corner. Well, you'd like to talk us through the goal Yeah, um, I was in two minds whether to go up that late in the game, but, you know, we... I'm told to go up for set pieces, so off I went. Uh, I don't know actually took the corner. I think it was probably Shane who touched one well, a great head at the back post and, and put it across. And I'm, I'm there because I've, you know, I've just spun around from the near post run, and it's, it's uh, just to get a good contact on it, which I did, and you know, sit the back of the net. Well, you were mobbed by your teammates when you scored the goal. And so was it was it as much relief as the rest of the game? I think so. I don't think we we particularly played that well today. You know, we played a lot better, and we played better than that and get beat. But um, you know, there's, there's a lot of pressure on us to retain it, you know, the, and, and to do it, not playing well, is, is a bonus to us. You know, and like I say, it's, it's down to the spirit of this club, you know, all the players and the management. So. Is the feeling lifting a trophy from the Royal Box? Absolutely fantastic. I mean, you, you go there and you do it once, and you think, well, you m might ne never get the chance again, and then to come here again and win again, it's just a dream to come true. But I don't think it's really sunk, sunk in yet until, until later on this evening, perhaps. Graham, uh, Kidderminster played their part in an entertaining trophy. Alas, it's not to be at the end of the day. No, um, conceded first and last minute, and uh, you know that's difficult to cope with. But in between times, I thought we got over the the shock of an early goal, and uh, and we played quite well, and we created our chances. But you know they say in football, if you don't take your chances, you pay the price, and probably that's what we did in the end. Um, I thought we were well worth another crack at it. Um, but when players are as tired as they were in extra time, then uh, you know a set piece can always give you a problem. Lack of concentration causes all tiredness, and I think that's what happened in the end. The support for Woke in itself was so good. Yeah, fantastic again, and we've had the bulk of it. I was a little bit disappointed with the gate, 17 or 18 thousand, whatever it was. I mean, we certainly sold, I think, 10 thousand. Um, Kidderminster struggled to sell all the ones we hoped they would because we'll have to wander at home and we understand that but tremendous atmosphere all round and two lots of supporters that get on well together and the players, uh, fantastic. So uh, you're looking now for a third trip to the Twin Towers? Well, uh, I've just been to a press conference and we've now equaled the Scarborough record, I think 76-77, would be nice to beat it wouldn't it and come back next year but I'm just happy to be here now and celebrating this, the trophy winners yet again. Well, congratulations, Jeff. Go on, enjoy the celebration. Thanks very much.